Hey folks, I'm going to, so I've been reading a lot about how uh, the hardware abstraction layer, uh, it's very abstract, it's really confusing, um, and it's required if you want to make your own custom GUI inside of Linux CNC. So I'm going to attempt to do a brain dump to help you wrap your head around what I've been experiencing, and hopefully I, may, I am able to like simplify this. Um, yeah, let's let's get started. So, hardware abstraction layer. This is going to be our hardware abstraction layer. He's also very abstract. So, you start with, so there are four components. I see, anyway. Well, I'm not even going to call them components because components is one of the names. So, there are four individual layers to have the hardware abstraction layer. Uh, it's not just a single layer, as the name suggests. Mis misleading, very, very misleading. Um, so we start with commands. So commands are, if you've ever opened up your configuration file that starts, that you'd get by default when you create a configuration using stepconf. Um, mine was named Sherline mil.hal. Um, there's also custom.hal. If you open up one of those, you'll see something along the lines of, or you'll see this command more than likely. There are lots of commands. Um, and it took me a while to like know where these were coming from. So I'm going to pause and I'm going to go over to the computer and I'm going to show you where you can find all these. So I'm back. How command, they come from how command. So if you go to linuxcnc.org forward slash docs, html, man, man1, how command dot one dot html. I'll put this in the description, by the way. You can actually see all these awesome commands. And if we scroll down, we'll actually see net. So net actually connects the signal name to the pin name. So, I'm going to stop here. We're going to go back to the table. So we understand commands. Cool. Next up we have signals. And we're going to put this guy under here. There we go. Okay, signals. Signals are essentially... So the way the, the hardware abstraction layer works is like... They, they thought about it in hardware terms. So like the signal would be the wire essentially connecting to a pin or like a, a slot in the breadboard or something. So there are how pins, which we're going to get to in a second, but signals are essentially a name that you can, you can make up this name. Um, and you'll, you'll see in the, if you, in your configuration, uh, file, if you, It'll be something like this, maybe. You'll probably see this one. It'll be tool-change. Um, that name doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't I don't, I don't. quite understand like how you're able to reuse this, but it has something to do with being able to reuse it later on. So anyway, we're not gonna worry. We're gonna stop on that one too much. Um, those are signals. They're made by the user. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, next up we have very important part. Uh, this is components and this actually confused me the most. Um, so the components are things like and back to that your how file, IO control. There's also how UI. Um, so we're gonna pause here. We're gonna go over to the computer and I'm gonna show you where you find all these components. Ah, here we go. So, if you go to linuxcnc.org forward slash docs, html, how, and then components.html, you'll find all the components. Um, the, the ones that I've seen the, used the most are how UI and this IO control. Um, and if you're really confused right now, don't be. Uh, I'm going to, let's go into... I'm going to go to And here, you're going to see a command, signal, signal here. It's just named whatever. 
And then these are signal connectors. Um, these are mostly just for syntax to, uh, or for reading the document. They don't actually do much. They, uh, they essentially just, you have to have them, but they, uh, they just show like how the connection is being made. So it's like the IO control is going into the E stop out and then E stop dash EXT is sending the signal out to IO control. Um, so it's, it's mostly just used for readability sake in your document. Um, but back to the components. So IO control is a component. So if you want to find out where these, uh, these are called pins. So I'm going to go back to the table now and we're going to just discuss pins. So I got a little ahead of myself. Um, but essentially what you need to know is how components, IO control is an example. There's also another important component is PI VCP. So PI VCP is going to come into play in a, in a bit when we talk about uh, GUIs. And, or, I don't know, it may, it may be another video. Um, but anyway, PI VCP would then connect to the my LED pin that would be in your custom GUI. So we're going to get rid of these, put them under here. Now we have pins. So essentially what happens is the signal connects to the pin, so the wire will connect to the, the hole in the breadboard essentially. Um, so link up a pin to a signal. Um, so the pin, the pins are very specific to the components. So when you go and look up your component, like IO control, it's actually going to have a, a giant list in that documentation, and these are all going to be your pins. So it's going to end up looking like zero uh, IO control, which are going to be your component, and then in that manual you'll see z dot zero dot tool change and dot tool change is something very specific to that component that controls the tool change so when the tool change um, command is run or whatever then that would fire so it's different for different components but anyway that'll at least hopefully get you started um, yeah uh, we're gonna go back over to the computer and we're gonna look at some of the pins all right so now in practical terms so we know that that net is our is a uh, command, a how command. We know that you e stop out as a signal. And then th this is just essentially saying that IO control dot zero dot user enable out is going into e stop out. So, so what do, I don't completely understand this though. So I'm actually going to go to, I'm going to do a search for IO control. I actually already have it up. I, uh, I did a little preparation here. So we're going to go to IO control. So I just essentially searched um, Linux CNC IO control and I know it's a component. You can also go to terminal and do um, man IO control I think possibly. Um, and that will also give you this, this information here. So anyway we're going to go, I forgot what I was looking for. Um, user enable out. Yeah, let's go look that one up. We copy that. We go over to here. We search user enable out. It says when an internal e stop condition exists. And it looks like it sends false. So now we go back and we say, oh, I can, now I understand. So it's, now it's going to e stop out when this IO control or user enable out happens. And now it's up for us to use that signal to do something. And that's where we start connecting the GUIs. But I'm going to have to stop this. I think it's getting a little too long. And uh, I think I'd just confuse things if I kept them going. Uh, next, next episode will be, or the next part of this, this series, I guess, will be connecting to the GUI. But hopefully I help you, helped you. Um, I know it's taken me a while to like sort of wrap my head around all this. It's not completely intuitive. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think.